what to good are diagonalizations? Well, they have many applications, but one application we can give that isn't over the technical is matrix powers. In general, raising matrices to powers is a time consuming and difficult. Even relatively small matrices and relatively small powers. For example, suppose we just have a two by two matrix and we want to raise it to the thousandth power on our calculator. We'll enter this matrix into our calculator. And now we'll raise this matrix to the thousandth power. Our calculator can't do it. Why it gives a domain error specifically, I'm not clear on, but it is giving us an error. Now, suppose that we could die diagonalize A, then when we square A, you see we have a P and a P inverse sitting next to each other. Those cancel and we get P times d squared times p inverse. And similarly, if we cube a, we wind up with d cubed and so on a to the 1,000th power is a d to the 1,000th power with a p and a p inverse. What's the significance of this? Well, ordinarily raising A matrix to a power is difficult and time consuming. But if the matrix happens to be diagonal, then raising the matrix to a power simply raises all of the diagonal elements to the power. So let's try this again, but now suppose that we've diagonalized A. Now, raising A to a power, is nothing more than raising a few real numbers to powers and doing a little matrix multiplication. Up 
at uh, basically any number of decimal places, like even if we were working with machine precision here, 0.1 to the 1,000th is just going to be a zero. 1 to the 1,000th is going to be one. And we can multiply three matrices together and therefore compute this power. We weren't able to do it on our calculator, but the diagonalization made this simple. We're going to see applications of matrix powers, by the way, very shortly when we get to Markov chains.